Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're back. It's Torquay United versus Plymouth Argyle. Another pre-season fixture coming our way. Last three times against Torquay, last time out on the 19th of July 2022, we was victorious 5-0 at their ground. Before that again, on the 31st of July 2021, we was victorious 3-0 again at their ground. And before that again, on the 16th of July 2019, we was victorious in a 3-1 victory at Torquay's ground. Now, the pre-season uh, results so far, first time in pre-season this year against Hearts, we beat them 1-0. After that, the latest vlog on my channel, 2-0 uh, win away to Plymouth Parkway. And after that, most recently, beating Blackpool 2-1, the toughest uh, opponents that we have faced in the pre-season. It will be the toughest we face overall, I do believe. Um, and, and finally, a little bit more of summer activity. All Argyle fans are know, all Argyle fans are buzzing about it. Morgan Whitaker has returned, this time on a four-year permanent deal from Swansea. A fee around £1 million plus add-ons, a record fee for Argyle. Buzzing that he's back. The number 10 shirt, that number 10 role has been filled that I've been talking about. Hopefully, we can see him play today. But, yeah, it's sunny outside. Me and Ben are going tonight, so we're going to go get the train. Probably have a couple of beers in a, in a beer garden in Torquay somewhere and then go to the ground and hopefully see a Schumacher masterclass. Come on, you greens. Right then, lineups are out. We're on move to the stadium now. Connor Hazard starts in goal. Uh, Julio Pegazulo starting. But the main thing is Morgan Whitaker is starting tonight. It's buzzing for that. Obviously, signing yesterday on that four year permanent. We are, as are all of our fans, are excited for it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go over 2 1 today. I think that. You know, it's, it, we, we need to get a win. It's a positive to get a win. And, and this is the sort of team that we should be beating comfortably. Ben, score predictions. I'm going to go on. This is going to be a bit optimistic. I'm going to say 7-0. 7-0. Aidan? I'm going for 4-0. 4-0? Yeah, 4 And nil. Jack? Hello, I'm going 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. All our goal victories. Ben's been obviously drinking. He don't know what he's doing. <laughs> but ben see needs you at the to ground. put a bet on that now. See you at the ground.
Half time, 1 0 Greens, Morgan Whitaker, Wonder Strike, what a goal that was. Um, positive half, I think we are letting Torquay come into the game a bit too much, we're giving them too many opportunities. Uh, and I do think Freddie is like, he's cutting in too much and not taking his chances on his side. But other than that, very positive half. Uh, the, the play that we're making in the midfield to create the chance is very good. We're, we're opening up down on the wings. Hopefully, more of that in the second half. Probably see some changes now with, with a few more of the youngsters coming. Um, we're very positive for us now. Let's get to the second half. Come on, you guys.
and full time here at Playmore. Talky one, Harvo one. This point in full time result, to be honest. I think in comparison to the Arva being Championship, Talky being Nirvana Rama South, you know, we, we should be beating these cups in pre season or not. Um, yeah, the second half, Talky dominated, I would say. And it is, it is making me more nervous going into this into this season now, thinking about obviously the teams that we've got to face um, and it being so close to to the, to the day. But yeah, we move we move on now. I'm pretty sure that's the last of the preseason fixture. Only Swindon Swindon to go. Uh, it will be a back, bigger test than to I'll see how we go with that one. Don't know if I will be going to that. Obviously, as as it is away, and I'll be more looking forward to the season starting. But yeah, we will move on to them, and then it's the big ones: Huddersfield home to kick off the season. Nervous, very nervous for it, and I. Uh, Feel, feel more nervous and excited, which is probably going to be the same with, with, with some of our fans after tonight's performance. But yeah, I'll see you uh, in the next one. Follow my socials down below for any updates on the channel, and I'll, uh, I'll uh, catch you all soon.